Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. In this video, I will show you five very unique ways of doing keyword research with Genspark. And I've tested each of these methods and they all work still in 2025 and even beyond that. First, what you'll need is to go to Genspark. I will be using a super agent for most of my tasks, if not for all. And the first use case is my favorite one. It has to do with underserved product reviews. So if you are in a niche where you do product reviews, one of the best ways to rank instantaneously within three, four, five hours is to write product reviews that do not have a sufficient SERPs representation. And I'll probably put a video here somewhere where I was able to rank multiple times using this method. I was using a make.com automation, but Genspark is amazing. So we'll be using that. This is the prompt. By the way, all of these prompts are going to be part of my school community, more specifically the Genspark Academy. It already has videos on how to create one-click directories and how to create amazing multimedia articles in one click. So this is the prompt. Give me a list of 20 AI text optimization tools that have been launched in 2025, asking Genspark to go to Google and check each of these reviews or product names one by one, see if they have a corresponding review type of article, and then I'm asking Genspark to give me a shortlist of the tools that do not have a sufficient representation in the SERPs. So let's see what happens. So it's now doing its thing, creating various search queries, new AI text humanization tools, latest AI humanizer tools, new AI humanizers launched in 2025. It's compiled a list of tools. What you can do also, and sometimes I find that this is an even better approach, you can take the first part of the prompt, go to the AI studio, this way you will save up on credits. And Google, especially Gemini 2.5, is amazing at research. You can paste in this prompt alone and feed it back to Genspark when it's ready. Yeah, and I can tell you right now that AI Studio gives a much longer list of text optimization tools, which you can feed back to Genspark. But I digress. So step one, list of tools compiled. Step two, it's going into Google and looking for the tool name plus review. And it has shortlisted these to a few tools like Monica AI Humanizer, limited dedicated reviews, mostly mentioned in roundups, Twain GPD, while there are some reviews, there is not extensive coverage, Keeper.ai has some reviews, but they are less comprehensive, AIDP, very limited dedicated review, Netus has some reviews, but relatively limited, Ahrefs AI Humanizer, surprisingly, Semi-Human has some review coverage, but not as extensive as top competitors, Twixify and Higgs.ai. So you can take any of these tools. Let's check Twixify, for example. We'll go search for Twixify review, undetectable AI review, Reddit. Yeah, so you can see that Twixify is actually the one that could work with this method since it doesn't have a sufficient review of the platform itself. And this is method number one, finding under search reviews. And you can repeat this process with other niches as well. So step one is to create a large list of newer tools in your niche. And step two, basically feed this all to the super agent and ask it to search the SERPs and assess the content depth individually. Next one is called content gap. For this, you need to locate a sitemap of your website and of your competitor's website. For example, one of my websites is trickmino.ai and this is the associated sitemap and I did the same for my main competitor so let's start a new chat. This is my sitemap, this is sitemap of my direct competitor, perform a content gap analysis and come up with 20 new blog post ideas for me to write about. I'll help you perform a content gap analysis between your site and your competitor to identify opportunities. I need to look at each of the individual sitemaps. Let me crawl the competitor's sitemap as well. Let me query the blog content from your website for a better understanding of your current topics. And this is amazing, this is automated. The only thing that you have to do is to know your sitemap in the sitemap of your competitor and just paste this into the prompt. Okay, looks like the content gap analysis is complete. After analyzing your site and your competitor, I have identified several content gaps that present opportunities for new blog posts. Your site currently excels at reviewing AI by passing tools and providing torrenting guides, while your competitor covers a broader range of topics, including content marketing, readability tools, fact checking, and legal aspects of AI content. Your current focus reviews, torrenting, 
your computer is focused, legal aspects, fact checking, blah, blah, blah. These are the ideas. The ultimate guide to using AI generated content in your marketing strategy without getting flagged, SEO optimized AI content, content reliability standards, the legal landscape of using AI, AI content disclosure requirements, the technology behind AI detection, sentiment analysis and AI detection, AI detection in different languages. This one is huge. E commerce product descriptions, AI tools that pass detection tests. This could be very unique and valuable. Academic writing with AI tools and techniques. Again, this is very true to my audience and its pain points. Fact checking AI generated content, hybrid content creation. So this is golden. This is a very solid base for me to build my next batch of content off of. Amazing. So to sum up, all you have to do is to find your own sitemap and your competitor's sitemap. Then feed it all into GenSpark and it will perform a beautiful content gap analysis for you. The third one, the third method is called SEO Heist. Basically taking your competitor's sitemap and transforming it into a complete list of keywords for you to use. We're going to be using the same sitemap, which is that of originality.ai. Let's feed this into the super agent. And I find that uh, super agent is just smarter, it might not be as in depth as deep research, for example, but uh, for most of these use cases, it's a better fit, but you may test these prompts with either the super agent or the deep research. Okay. I'll help you analyze your competitor's sitemap and create a topical map. I see that I need to analyze all articles from your competitor's sitemap. The sitemap is quite extensive and I need to get the complete list of URLs first. So this is what it's doing. I can see that the sitemap contains over 400 blog articles. Now I need to analyze some of these articles. I'll start by analyzing the articles to extract the keywords. Now, I think I've missed that in my explanation, but this prompt not only extracts the keyword, but it tries to organize them in clusters. So that's why it's saying, now that I have a better understanding of the website's contents and focus areas, I will use the Think tool to organize the topical clusters before presenting the final analysis. And this is invaluable, guys. So in a few minutes, you'll get a complete topical map together with clusters and actual keywords. Based on my analysis of original AI blog content, I will now provide a comprehensive topical map of their target keywords organized by clusters. Look at this, guys. The first cluster is AI content detection, which contains core products and services, model-specific detection, detection issues, detection applications, detection tool reviews, plagiarism and academic integrity. That's another cluster. It contains core concepts, context-specific plagiarism, like plagiarism in college and high school in journalism, tools and solutions, tool reviews that pertain to plagiarism, readability and writing quality, grammar and writing tools. Wow. So this is a complete topical map that you can adjust based on your needs. I saw those posts before. They're pretty good. A content statistics, like GPT-4 statistics, Perplex TI statistics. Let's check out this one. I think I saw that one actually. Okay. So now exploding topics is ranking for that. Yeah. So that's the article. I actually like how the article is written. And back then it was like, wow. But now I realize that this can be done very easily with modern tools. And before I was just very jealous. Nonetheless, this is a very nicely written blog post. So this was the SEO heist. Next up is proxy keywords or lookalike keywords. And for this, you first need a list of keywords. So let's go to a free tool like the Hoth, for example. We need to sign up. It's free. And go to tools. And we'll need a couple of tools. So the first one would be Keyword Volume Checker that uses SEMrush in the backend. And the other, let it be Keyword Research for the suggestions. So let's use a fun example like bugs. Okay. So what I'll do right now, I'll click on View More Results. I'll export this as a CSV. Then I still want to sort this by keyword difficulty, even though this is not an organic keyword difficulty. This is paid search. Need to do some text formatting real quick. And okay, so these are the keywords with the competition level of zero. Ugly bug is one of them, and this is 26 words uh, keywords. We need 25, and that's okay. Let's go back to the keyword volume checker, view SEM stats. And the reason we're doing this is we want the so quote unquote true competition level. Okay, and we can actually see that most of these are indeed low competition. What I'll do, I'll go back to GenSpark, I'll paste in the keywords like so. And then I'll run this prompt to buffer the low competition keywords in my niche. Give me 30 more. 
And then I have uh, a few criteria that I want to apply to these keywords. I'll help you generate 30 more pug related keywords that align with the semantic value and search intent of your existing list. This will be long tail keywords that potential searches might use. Okay. Retro pug healthier breed. Pug exercise needs daily. And the beauty of this approach is you can grab this list of keywords, go back to the keyword volume checker, and to see if any of these keywords are actual keywords. If you, even if you don't get uh, statistics here, you can still try these keywords. Nothing wrong with that. But we can already see that five of these are the so-called true low mission keywords like Pagadier Life Expectancy, Pug Breathing Problem Solutions, Silver Fawn Pug Puppies, Black Pug versus Fawn, Black Pug Personality Traits, <laughs> whatever that would entail. Uh, tail, you get it. Yeah, so this is uh, an amazing way of uh, getting extra keywords and validating the keywords as well. Last one, I just called it forms for the lack of a better word, but this means uh, basically fetching keywords that the likes of Reddit are ranking for. And this, uh, to be quite honest, this used to work amazing, uh, but now Reddit is ranking for everything, but still I think there is a lot of value in looking at Reddit for keyword ideas. So the prompt is going to be very simple, and we're using Reddit here, you can substitute this uh, for Medium or Quora, and we're using Bugs again as an example. I'll help you find keywords that Reddit ranks for on the first page of Google related to Bugs, let me search for this information. And then this is going to do all the heavy lifting for you, because here all you have is a seed keyword. So you don't actually have a list of keywords that you can paste in a fancy keyword research tool. You are going off of a single seed keyword. 20 keywords Reddit ranks for. Okay, let's just start from the last one, because why not? This one is Pug Dental Care. Okay, Reddit on the first page, although the last one. Next up is Pug Harness Recommendations. Mm. Reddit, number two. Oh, this is my school community. Pug Stubborn Behavior. Yeah, and this is number one. So I've just tested three of the keywords and all of them were on the first page and Reddit was ranking for them. So amazing, amazing, amazing methodology. So to sum up, I was using GenSpark with a Super Agent. For some of the ideas like the underserf reviews, you might want to use AI Studio with Gemini 2.5 to get the initial list of tools. And so these were the five keyword research methods underserved reviews. So finding the reviews that do not have sufficient SERPs representation content gap, comparing yourself to the competitor and suggesting additional topics as your highest, where we not only get a keyword list, but the keyword list that is grouped and clustered and organized in a topical map, proxy keywords, where we are getting low combination keywords absolutely for free, then asking GenSpark to find the lookalike keywords and then validating those keywords again with a free keyword research tool. And finally, the forums. And you can do this for Reddit, Medium, LinkedIn, Quora. Again, all this is going to be part of the growing GenSpark Academy. Hope you found some value in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.